Ping would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. And if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena, I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Dropped your pen. It's not... I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> well, for Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? É, galera, voltamos aqui em Batman da Telltale Games, episódio 4. E agora o Bruce tá ferradão, né, cara? Parece que estamos aqui em Arkham, velho. Vixe. Bom, eu não fiz em live dessa vez, galera, porque realmente é, os horários, os dias, sei lá, cara, é tudo meio bagunçado da TLT, você nunca sabe direito quando que vai sair, é um negócio meio zoado pra falar a real com vocês, então no dia que saiu já era, sei lá, já praticamente de noite aqui, não dava nem pra gravar e depois no dia seguinte acabei que não deu tempo né, de fazer a live, porque ia ficar muito tarde, acabei decidindo fazer em vídeo mesmo pra vocês, poder gravar aqui de boa, né? E bora lá então! E deixa eu ver, tem um monte de coisa pra gente dar uma analisada aqui. Leito enferrujado. Câmera. Não, desejo um, ó. Tem a ver com a câmera aqui. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. É, isso aí, não pode ser, não pode estar tá acontecendo. Esse cara, até o T é foda, né? Parede quebrada, like parece que alguém meteu a cabeça aí. Lovely. Cara, vai acontecer tudo uns bagulho louco aqui, hein, galera. Final do episódio passado foi tenebroso, né, cara? Agora vamos ver como que o Bruce vai sair dessa. Yeah. This can't be real. <risos> Quem diria, né, cara, que o Bruce estaria no Arkham Zion, cara. Quem jogou a série Arkham lá nunca poderia imaginar isso, né? Good. 
Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Nossa, finalmente ele apareceu, hein, galera? Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Uh, tá. Yeah. É minha, vai. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> Don't know. <risos> Bom, que bosta mesmo. Várias partes em inglês. Pelo menos a... são as partezinhas meio fáceis, né? Mas. Pô, até o T é foda, mano. O Minecraft lá também. Nossa, teve. Misturava espanhol com português. Era uma loucura. John é um dos nossos mais improved pacientes. Ele está com nós por muito tempo. Eu estou seguro que ele estaria disposto a mostrar você ao redor. Certo, John? Oh, sim. Yeah. Eu vou mostrar o todo o <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. 
Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself, Ben. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. Eh? Ele tá caindo aqui, mano. Careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, Ben. No, no, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Stop. Come on. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> But everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, bro. Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up. The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Parece que vamos ter que descobrir. Do jeito difícil, né? Usar a chave ali. Billy. Deixa eu falar com o Billy. Ô, Billy, qual é o seu problema, Billy? Você tem um caso de mind knives. Eu posso te dizer. Eu posso te dizer. Só se chove, tá bom? Não há mind knives para mim. Eu já tenho os meus chaves. Quê? A chave parece meio grande para esse armário, né? Tá, é... não sei se é uma boa a gente usar isso, mas... Enfim, nossa, cara, que, que coisa, né? Acho que tem uns caras aqui que são meio doidos, não sei porquê. Esse aqui é o Arnold, lá do West... Westworld. Hello? Hello? No way! Arnold! Busy! I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you! Caraca, como que ele faz isso, velho? Uh, essa chave pode me tirar daqui, é um ótimo truque. O que você pode me contar sobre João Ninguém? Tá, ah, o que você pode me contar sobre ele? O que você pode me contar sobre John Doe? John? Nada. Eu não sei nada. John? Makes me laugh. Wanna know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. 
think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. No, he's no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Tem um baú aqui que eu acho que a chave serve ali. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me. I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. But why? No reason. No reason. Lewis. Parece que a chave cabe ali, né? Mas Tá, beleza. Será que a gente fala com mais alguém aqui? Fala com o João. E aí, João? Your key didn't work. Of course not. That's not how you get out of here. You tried it though, didn't you? That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crystal two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. We had a business relationship, plain and simple. That callousness is almost inspiring. You sure it's not hiding anything? In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. <coughs> Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicki and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Cops had dragged you off of him. That cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. 
was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad... Well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. E rapaz. Uh... But what's one favor between friends? Eu nunca vai sair daqui. clear about one thing. You are never, ever getting out of this place. Aqui não, né? Vai sair sim. But never is a very, very long time. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Call security! Caralho, matou o maluco, mano. GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <risos> Ih, rapaz, agora ferrou, né? Isso vai se tornar um problema depois. Eu 
mask the veils. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> É isso aí, mano. Agora vamos ver o que, que vai acontecer, né, galera? Esse nosso problema do Coringa aí depois vai voltar, hein, mano. E hard. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus... Gotham has become that much more dangerous, and the public opinion on Bruce Wayne, well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Selina? Well, Good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news, if you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arkham members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? 
You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up, people! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile! Just do it, Alfred! Hey! <sighs> Sir? Oh. Just get us home, Al. Fast. Caraca, velho, o Bruce tá muito fodido. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I don't have time for rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. 
I'll make the preparations. Beleza, galera, precisamos achar uma cura urgente pro Bruce, né, cara? Que, nossa, a cena que ele fez lá vai parar no YouTube e ter um monte de acesso lá no em alto, né, cara? Tá, não é aqui. <risos> Deixa eu só... Tá, só tirar isso aí que tá pedindo pra ver aqui e tá? tal. Notícias de Gotham. Legal, né? Pô, essas notícias realmente excelentes. This tá is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Mano, não faço nem ideia, cara. Do que que eu... <risos> Tô ferrado aqui, mano. Na moral. Uh, cria um antigo, combine a sequência de moleques da... Ah, tem que fazer aquele desenho ali, né? Uh... Ah, meu Deus do céu, Berg. Tá, beleza. Ah, sim, talvez. Não, esse aqui eu acho que tá errado. Aí, beleza. Should do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Ah, que agonia, mano. Ui, credo. O cara cria um antídoto assim do nada, até sem pesquisar nada. Isso é louco. Pode dar um efeito louco aí. Vai funcionar, Alfred. Eu me sinto melhor já. Então, o que nós vamos fazer agora? Primeiro coisas, eu preciso saber o que a Vicky, Lady Arkham, tem estado em casa enquanto eu estou fora. Cerca para todos os filhos da Arkham recente atividade. A press está reportando que a Vicky Vale está perdida. Sim, e obviamente a polícia ainda tem que encontrar um corpo. Woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Argham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Oh, uh -huh. they got me. That's true. She may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Ele mesmo tava agora há pouco lá, né? Melhor que que temos, sabe que a Vicky é a senhora. Ah, ele sabe. Ele sabia que Vicky Vale era a Lady Arkham. Ninguém mais tem essa informação. Eu acho que isso não é algo que podemos ignorar, confiável ou não. Ele me disse que, se eu quero saber o que ela está planejando, então eu deveria visitar a casa dos seus pais. Se a Vale ainda vive em Gotham, eles deveriam ser fáceis de localizar. Got it. Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful.
É hora da vingança, galera. I'm inside the Vale House. Uh, parece que alguém já esteve aqui, né? Ele, rapaz. Tem que saber, não vai poder responder nenhuma pergunta, eu só acho. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Puts, cara. Bom, vamos vasculhar aqui e ver o que a gente encontra, né? Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Bom, Batman volta quando o Bruce sai, né? Se alguém ligar os pontinhos aí. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed. Ah, que nojo, velho. Disturbing. Credo. <laughs> There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Ele deu uma dose muito maior, será? Porra. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Hum. Antes de tentar ligar isso aí com alguma coisa, vamos ver se tem mais alguma paradinha por aqui. Será que foi nessa fábrica que criaram o Paranauezinho? Cabelinho? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hum. A parte de ligar os Paranauê. Foda aí, mano. Opa. Faquinha que cortou o cabelo, se pá. Não vejo ainda como ligar aquela. It's clean. Mais. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Hum. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Ah, foi ele que matou a mulher, então. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Okay, ten hours. Jack, it's pinned up there, man. Ta, the logo of the company. We'll take down one thing. Covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. Nice. What that thing to plug up? Trabalhava então nesse lugar, né? Goes match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Então a partir daí que ela vai distribuir a os paranauê, será? Years, Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Hmm. Ela tinha usado a droga no marido, marido matando, mas não, né? Foi a própria Vic mesmo. Eu vou ligar com o que, velho? Ver 
sei se tem mais alguma coisa por aqui. Bom, é certeza que tá na minha cara aqui, mas não tô vendo. <risos> coisa, velho. Tá, ligar o cinto. Ó, tá faltando investigar alguma coisa, cara. Tá mais pra ir pra cá. Ah, tá, aqui, ó. Acho que a porrada que tomou. Ah, tá, 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 The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vell fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Eita, rapaz. Será que ela usou a própria droga para ficar violenta desse jeito, hein? Acho que não é ela que tá em casa, deve ser o molequinho da foto, né? There's someone here under the stairs, alive. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Vai ficar bem, garotinho. Vai ficar bem, tudo bem. Algo bom aconteceu aqui. Eu sei que pode ser assustador, mas eu preciso de sua ajuda. Você pode fazer isso? Ok. Eu preciso que você me diga se você viu ou ouviu alguma coisa. Isso é importante. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Let me guess, you're 
We'll try to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Gah! É, essa bagaça tem proteção contra a PEN. Eita, molequinho corajoso. Nice work, kid. They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them, to channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not me more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Gostei dessa umbrada, hein? Aí sim, mano. Mostrar quem manda essa birosca aqui. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Vamos ver aqui. Opa. EMP functionality is all in the green. Cara tá usando Should've as empresas worked. Wayne, cara. Que coisa, hein? Fazer esse drone aí. Vira. 
Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. A proteção acho que tá no drone. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce. I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. I bet Slee's cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up... He could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're onto him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're onto him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Eita, rapaz, e agora, hein, galera? Ah, precisava da ajuda de vocês na live agora. <risos> uh, será que Batman daria um jeito nisso, cara? Ou tentar resolver de uma vez por todas com o Bruce? Aqui os dois, né? Não estão se dando muito bem, né, cara? É uma decisão em tanto, hein? Bom, galera, comentem aí com quem que vocês iriam, hein? Acho que eu vou com o Batman mesmo. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Nossa, mas do ponto de vista legal, ele pode fazer isso, cara. Que loucura, tá ligado? Don't screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Oh, I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman? Oh, you scared the hell out of me. But it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kind of small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? You're losing your mind. 
and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Him and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Turn yourself in now. The police will never let you get away with this. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Hang on, Batman, hang on. I had to make an example of him to get people to respect me. Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city, too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I... Crime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Nossa, que maluco lixo, velho. A vontade de ter largado ele ali, na moral. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No, he's trying to help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing. Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on! Let's hear it! I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's a little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. 
Yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jen. I'm glad we're on the same side. Situation. I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. The only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Ai meu Deus. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. Tá bom, Alfred, velho. Na moral, já mandei a Celina passear, mano. Ela podia ajudar. <risos> ah, meu Deus. Batman dos anos 60 lhe dava bem sem tecnologia, né? Isso também pode. Not one step further. Now oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. Ah, no, velho. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. Boa, Alfred. Ah, esse velho é muito foda, mano. Queria que ele fosse meu avô. You again. I thought we talked about this. The time for talking is over. And so is your reign of terror. So, how does this end? I want to destroy this house, and you want to stop me. This ends after I hurt you. Is that why you saved me from Penguin? So you could have me all to yourself? I ah, ninguém mandou invadir a casa e ameaçar o Albert. You're no hero. Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. <laughs> This Harvey, I know. You know what those are? Explosive slugs. <laughs> And you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. Caraca, tá mó longe, velho. Just 
The bat's mine. Ai, meu Deus. É, isso não vai fazer ser um hero. Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. Putz, cara. This old man needs to die. Your head or your heart? What's that sound? What the? Dead Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? As long as I'm around, Gotham will be fine. They don't need someone like me. Ah, we do fun of that. Meu Deus. I'm important. I'm, I'm important. God, he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Hum. Ela conheceu Coringa, vai? Ela conheceu Coringa, vai? Damage to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. Vai lá conhecer o Coringa e deixar tudo pior pra gente depois. <risos> Beleza, mano. Al. Al, what's Bruce, wrong? The computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Fish. Nossa, esse episódio foi muito louco, velho. Você prometeu o favor a Coringa, você e 51 dos jogadores se negaram a dever um favor em Coringa em troca de ajuda, é. Como você saiu? Você, os jogadores optaram por se aproveitar da riqueza e usar advogados para sair. É, claro, né? <risos> ah, como você passou do bloqueio? Os jogadores derrubaram a barquinha. Ah, verificação, tá, tá. Foi equilibrado também. Que também se lidou com Harry, com Batman ou Bruce? Ah, a maioria com Batman. Quem pediu o Harry ou Os Oswald? Você e 47 do Sonho optaram para impedir o Harry do Nero. Tá, a maioria escolheu o DT o Oswald. É o que eu fiquei meio preocupado com o Alfred, cara. É isso aí. Podem.
Vamos ver o que vai pegar no próximo episódio, né, galera? Aqui não? Não tem prévia do próximo episódio? Ô, oh, louco! Ô, oh, louco! Ô, oh, louco! <risos> Bom, aí só mês que vem, né, galera? Que bosta! E aí já é o episódio final. Acho que eles nem quiseram dar spoiler de nada, assim, nem... A gente pensar em alguma coisa. Bom, então é isso, galera. Vejo vocês no próximo episódio. Não esqueça de deixar aquele like maroto pra dar aquela força aí pro canal. E então é isso. Valeu, falou e tchau!